the moon is a spectacular presence in the night sky. It is the Earth's eternal companion, one of the largest satellites in our whole solar system, and the only other world that humans have set foot upon. Several of the classical Greek gods and goddesses adopted the moon as their symbol. Most prominent of these was Artemis, the goddess of hunting. Artemis may be most famous for her run-in with Actaeon. While hunting, Actaeon saw Artemis bathing in a pond. Rather than turn away, Actaeon stayed and spied upon her. When Artemis saw him, she turned him into a stag, and he was hunted down by his own hounds. Artemis may have used the moon as a symbol, but the personification of the moon was the titan Selene. Selene was the sister of the sun god Helios. Just as Helios brought the sun across the sky in a golden chariot pulled by horses, Selene brought the moon across the sky in a silver chariot pulled by oxen. One night, when Selene was riding her chariot across the sky, she saw a handsome young shepherd by the name of Endymion. Endymion was gazing lovingly at the moon, and Selene found herself falling in love with him in return. The two of them spent much time happily together, but Selene knew that the mortal Endymion would eventually grow old and pass on. Unable to bear existing without her beloved shepherd, Selene asked Zeus to grant Endymion immortality. But Zeus was unwilling to grant immortality to a human, at least not without a price. He offered Endymion a choice, to either live out his life as a normal man, or to perpetually sleep with unending life and youth. Endymion chose the latter. When Zeus granted Endymion endless life and sleep, he kept Endymion's eyes open. So Selene visits the slumbering Endymion as often as she can, and the two of them can still gaze into each other's eyes.